Hi, my name is Manu Vasudevan from the AWS By Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS By Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on, create a launch configuration, create an auto-scaling group using the launch configuration, create a CloudWatch alarm that monitors CPU utilization, create a target tracking scaling policy for scale out, set the CloudWatch alarm by forcing an alarm state change, view the scaling activities for your auto-scaling group, delete all created resources. Estimated cost for doing this hands-on? No charge as creating a T2 Micro EC2 instance is free tier eligible. Prerequisite AWS skill level, beginner with general understanding of AWS EC2, autoscaling, and CLI concepts. To begin, fire up a browser. Prefer oh. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account, a user with sufficient permissions and CLI access, check out our video on Create Admin User. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. Sign into the AWS Management Console as a user with administrator credentials. To create a launch configuration using the console, open the Amazon EC2 console. On the navigation bar at the top of the screen, the current region is displayed. Select a region for your auto-scaling group that meets your needs. On the navigation pane, under auto-scaling, choose launch configurations. On the next page, choose create launch configuration. On the choose AMI page, select an AMI. On the Choose Instance Type page, select a hardware configuration for your instance. Choose Next, Configure Details. T2 instances must be launched into a subnet of a VPC. If you select a T2 micro instance but don't have a VPC, one is created for you. This VPC includes a public subnet in each availability zone in the region. On the Configure Details page, do the following. For name, type a name of for your launch configuration. Optionally, for purchasing option, you may request spot instances and specify the maximum price you are willing to pay per instance hour. For more information, optionally, for IAM role, select a role to associate with the instances. Optionally, by default, basic monitoring is enabled for your auto-scaling instances. To enable detailed monitoring for your auto-scaling instances, select Enabled CloudWatch Detailed Monitoring. For advanced details, IP address type, select an option. T to connect to instances in a VPC, you must select an option that assigns a public IP address. If you want to connect to your instances but aren't sure whether you have a default VPC, select Assign a public IP address to every instance. Choose Skip to review. On the review page, choose Edit Security Groups. Follow the instructions to choose an existing security group. And then choose Review. Yeah. 
on the review page, choose create launch configuration. Okay, so on the review page, choose la create launch configuration. For selecting an existing key pair or create a new key pair, select one of the listed options. Select the acknowledgement checkbox and then choose create launch configuration. If you need to connect to your instance, do not select proceed without a key pair. To create an auto scaling group using a launch configuration, open the Amazon EC2 console. On the navigation bar at the top of the screen, choose the same AWS region that you used when you created the launch template. On the navigation pane, under auto scaling, choose auto scaling groups. The original console is open by default. To access the new console, on the banner at the top of the page, choose go to the new console. Choose create an auto scaling group. On the choose launch template or configuration page, for auto scaling group name, Enter a name for your auto scaling group. To choose a launch configuration, do the following. For a launch template, choose switch to launch configuration. For launch configuration, choose an existing launch configuration. Verify that your launch configuration supports all of the options that you are planning to use and then choose next. On the configure settings page under network for VPC, choose the VPC for the security groups that you specified in your launch configuration. Launching instances using a combination of instance types and purchase options is not supported in EC2 Classic. For subnet, choose one or more subnets in the specified VPC. Use subnets in multiple availability zones for high availability. Choose next, or you can accept the rest of the defaults and choose skip to review. To create a target tracking scaling policy, open the Amazon EC2 console. On the navigation pane, under auto scaling, choose auto scaling groups. Select the checkbox next to your auto scaling group. A split pane opens up in the bottom part of the auto scaling groups page, showing information about the group that's selected. Verify that the minimum and maximum size limits are appropriately set. For example, if your group is already at its maximum size, specify a new maximum in order to scale out. Amazon EC2 scaling does not scale your group below the minimum capacity or above the maximum capacity. To update your group on the Details tab, change the current settings for minimum and maximum capacity. Next scaling tab in scaling. On the automatic scaling tab in scaling policies, choose Add Policy or in the old console, the scaling policies tab is where you can add the policy. To def
For a metric type, choose a metric. You can only choose one metric type. To use more than one metric, create multiple policies. For a target group, choose the target group that you specified in Auto Scaling Group's load balance. You need to complete this step only if you chose the metric type that is based on the request count per target of your application load balancer. Specify a target value for the metric. Optionally, specify an instance warm-up value for instance's need. This allows you to control the time until a newly launched instance can contribute to the CloudWatch metrics. Optionally, select Disable Scale In to create only a Scale Out policy. This allows you to create a separate Scale In policy of a different type if wanted. Choose Create. Test the alarm by forcing an alarm state change using the set alarm state command. Change the alarm state from insufficient data to OK. Change the alarm state from OK to Alarm. To view the scaling activities for your auto scaling group, open the Amazon EC2 console. On the navigation pane, under auto scaling, choose auto scaling groups. The original console is open by default. To access the new console on the banner at the top of the page, choose Go to the New Console. Search for the name of the auto scaling group. The Instances column shows the number of instances currently running. While an instance is being launched or terminated, the Status column displays the status of updating capacity. Wait for a few minutes and then refresh the view to see the latest status. After a scaling activity completes, 
notice that the instances and desired capacity columns show new values. If you're using instance weighting, the weighted capacity column measures the number of capacity units that the group contains. If this column is hidden, choose the gear-shaped icon in the top right corner of the section and then enable the weighted capacity. Select the checkbox next to the auto-scaling group. A split pane opens up in the bottom part of the auto-scaling groups page showing information about the group that's selected. On the Activity tab, under Activity History, the Status column shows whether your auto-scaling group has successfully launched or terminated instances. On the Instance Management tab, under Instances, you can view the status of the instances that are currently running. The Lifecycle column contains the state of your instances. Note that it takes a short time for an instance to launch. After the instance starts, its lifecycle state changes to in-service. Delete your auto-scaling group. Open the EC2 console. On the navigation pane under auto-scaling, choose auto-scaling groups. To delete your auto-scaling group, open the Amazon EC2 console. On the navigation pane under auto-scaling, choose auto-scaling groups. On the auto-scaling groups page, select the checkbox next to your auto-scaling group and choose delete. In the old console, you can do actions and delete. When prompted for confirmation, choose Delete. A loading icon in the Name column indicates that the auto-scaling group is being deleted. The desired Min and Max columns show zero instances for the auto-scaling group. It takes a few minutes to terminate the instance and delete the group. Refresh the list to see the current state. Deleting an auto-scaling group automatically deletes the CloudWatch alarms that Amazon EC2 auto-scaling manages for a target sc tracking scaling policy. Thanks for watching! Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel AWS by Doing and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by Doing team.